to find Chingachgook, unaware the Hurons had carried off the daughter of the Delaware chief. Chingachgook and I had grown to manhood together in this forest. He and the Delaware had taught me its ways and its peace. But now the peace had been broken. The English and the French had come, and with them, bloodshed. The French had turned the Huron against the Delaware, and because of it, Chingachgook, my blood brother, had lost his only son. My son. It's been many moons since you have been taken from me. Yet, your memory is as fresh as the morning dew. Our peaceful forests had become the ground of battle. The Hurons wanted to trade the girl for the surrender of her father's garrison.
Marcus, my son, your time has been like that of the sun when in the trees, brighter than the light at noonday. Who that saw you in battle could believe you could die? Your feet were like the wings of eagles, your arms like the falling branches from the pines, your voice like thunder when it speaks to the clouds. Your time was filled with honor. The bravest of warriors clear a path for you to the spirit world. My tongue is weak. My heart is heavy. My race is gone. very long time. I was never far from you, Hawkeye. How could you be? We are brothers. Has my brother put aside his mantle of grief? It is still wrapped around my heart. As mine. Your son, Ancus, was no less a son to me. And as I walk this forest, I shall always remember him. Chingachuk, Wakai! Okay. Chingachuk, Wakai! Okay. I come from Tamanan, Chingachuk. Your uncle goes to attack. The Hurons have taken Watawa. My season of mourning is over. It was the Hurons that killed Uncas. They will not let me alone. Revenant! Revenant! The Delaware, they come! Gray Eagle and I shall go on. Send the Delaware back to their ancestors. <laughs> must go on. I cannot let the Hurons take my daughter. No, Chief Dominant. There are too many Huron on the trail. Your people are too few. They would all be killed. Let me go after Watawa. Let Chingachgook and I go. We can move through these woods unseen, rescue Watawa, without further bloodshed. Then if we fail, then it is the turn of the Delaware. My uncle, in a few days, the new moon will cross the sky. If we are not back by then... You shall have the time you ask. But if you're not back then, we Delawares will do what we must. My brother. The Hurons are far from their lodges. The French brought them. Yes, the war goes on. It's come again to our forest. The 
French had learned well the lessons of war. They lived among the Hurons, respecting their ways and customs. De Beaujeu had joined the Hurons, hoping to use them against the English. When you set out for Tamanan's village, you wanted only the Delaware's horses. Now you have his daughter. The spirits have brought me luck. Oh, really? When you left me, you had four more men with you. The Delaware had their own luck. Hawkeye and Chingach Cook attacked our rear guard. <laughs> ah, Rivenoak, I'm glad you're back. Now we can move against the English fort. These are not Delaware horses. The years have not clouded my brother's eyes. Not for trying. These horses are shod. English farming horses. You'd think the French and the English would have the good sense to keep their wars over in Europe, where they belong. Not here in our forest. My brother, this forest is what they fight over. Do you see it all, man? We can't stand about here all day. Fort Niagara is just a short way through those woods. I've seen it on the map. And those chaps have great need of these supplies. And we're doing no one any good at all on this side of that river. Now, get across there. Well, I do say, uh, you're not being at all rational. This bridge will certainly hold all of us. Now, watch this. You see, no need to be afraid. Safe as houses, exactly as I told you. Come along. <laughs> I told you, come along. This bridge is solid, and I'm not going to stand here any longer wasting time. I'll go downstream. Half the river in your lungs. <coughs> my horses, my equipment, those Indians have taken. I must, I must go after them. Go after them for a minute. Give your legs a chance to steady up. <coughs> oh, I say, I, uh, I, I, I should be thanking you. You, I, I didn't mean to be rude. You were absolutely magnificent. Can't imagine how I, how I blundered. So those, those Indians did try to warn me. Yeah. He is well. Oh, may I introduce myself? I'm uh, Lieutenant, the Right Honorable David Plowden. 
There are several other names in there somewhere, but uh, they don't uh, really matter much. I'm on my way to Fort Niagara. Well, you're not too far from there, Lieutenant. Um, this is my brother, Chingachgook. He's chieftain of the Mohicans. Uh, and uh, who might you be, sir? Uh, my brother has many names. To the Delaware, he is the Deer Slayer. To the Huron who fear him, he is La Longue Carabine. To you, Lieutenant, I'm just Hawkeye. I wondered if you could show me the trail to Fort Niagara. I'm to relieve the garrison there. Well, that's a pretty big order for one young lieutenant. Yes, yes. I'm to march them south. Since the massacre at Fort William Henry, we have to evacuate this entire area. The French and the Indians, it seems, are too troublesome for the command at Albany. We're concentrating our forces at Crown Point. I could not sleep with him crashing around these woods. Lieutenant? Sir? We're headed north. You can travel with us. Of course, of course. Safety in numbers. Lucky for all of us that we met. Eh, what? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well, brother, that's the way it is with me. Providence is always smiling. <laughs> Let me give you a hand. Sir, thank you, sir. Quite all right. Quite all right, sir. Thank you. Well, you'll find soldiering is quite a bit different here than it is in Europe. Yes, sir. I'm beginning to see that. You might also find it more comfortable off that log. Covered with fire ants. Juice it all, sir. You might have told me. Calculate I did. <laughs> Your pardon, sir. May I? I wish those thieving Indians had left me at least one horse. Ah, uh, Lieutenant, I wouldn't call those men who are with you thieves. And so where is my horse and where is my equipment? Well, those Indians ran off because they lost confidence in you. As far as they were concerned, you were a dead man already. The horse was no good to you. Sir, I know that I was stupid at the stream, but I am learning. Either way, I am going to be very hungry tonight. Oh, no. No. You could say you're in the land of plenty. There's purslane. Hundred different bulbs and mosses. Some of them quite delicious. Sir, you have a way of making this wilderness seem less frightening. Well, there's no reason it should be. God's good trees and plants. It's the people that make it a fearsome place. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get you a proper pair of moccasins. I reckon those boots are good for parades, but here they'll cripple you. Believe me, sir, I had not the slightest intention of making this journey on foot. In the woods, Lieutenant, always allow for the worst. <laughs> What's the matter? Many Huron. Many more than before. 
How far did you say it was to Fort Niagara? Maybe too close. My brother spends much time with the young soldier. Catch up to the Hurons, we may need the lieutenant. Matter of fact, I was hoping you'd teach him some of the things you know. The more he learns, the better for all of us. I had a son. I do not look for another. Lieutenant. Like I said, this is a different kind of warfare. That's a fine pair of moccasins. Leastways, you won't have to wear your boots anymore. Sir, you have no respect. Leaving here on. Only I am. Let the stinking reptile. You stand fast. You're British. You're not no Huron. Not likely. He's Chin Gook, the great chief of the Mohicans. This is Lieutenant Plowden. I'm Hawkeye. Deerslayer. I heard of you. I know you. My name is March. Harry March. Hawkeye. It was the Hurons. And they have got Watawa. Their tracks lead east. Well, if they're going to Lake Otsego, I better get there before them. You'd be safer if you stayed south of there. Yeah, maybe so. But the Hutter family lives on the lake. And Tom Hutter got two daughters, and I'm going to warn them. Civilians, here on the frontier. Mm-hmm. Sir, we, we can't leave them here to be slaughtered. We won't leave them, Lieutenant. But I think we'd best bury these soldiers before we go on to the lake. <laughs> Seems like a waste to me. Waste of time? Civilized thing to do, Mr. March. Even the Hurons bury their dead. I'd dig them up. Well, Sir William Johnson's paying 10 shillings apiece for Huron scalps. Huron moccasins, smooth. Delaware have stitching on the heel. Cayuga, welt on the toe. I'll try to remember. Mighty helpful information, brother. The signs tell you about a white man with the Hurons. Blonde-haired guy, medium build. Wears his fancy hat with a plume on it. I know the man you saw, the Sieur de Beaujeu. He's worth two companies of British infantry. Are you giving that man magical power, sir? No, he just has the good sense to know how to treat the Indian. The French have a different feeling about this country, Lieutenant. They just want to hunt and trap. You people want to own this land for yourselves. There are only a few thousand Frenchmen in this territory. There are over a million people in His Majesty's colonies. But the French win all the battles because the Indians are willing to fight on their side. That Frenchman, de Beaujeu, he has 30 Indians with him. You had three, that's all. And they ran away. Oh, now see here, I... Now you see here, right honorable lieutenant. The French officers go out amongst the tribes. They live with the Indians, learn their language, their ways, eat their food, play their games, fight with them side by side. You saw Fort Niagara. Well, that's what happens when we sit in our forts and try to keep as far away from the Indians as possible. Yes, sir, I saw Fort Niagara, or the remains of Fort Niagara. And I heard about the carnage and destruction at Fort William Henry. Good. I hope you'll remember it. Maybe you'll learn something from it. If we end the war, we'll end the killing. Hawkeye! Hurons go this way. Lake Otsego is that way. So you can all go wherever you like, but I'm going back to the Hutter house. I'm not going to let that pretty little Judith Hutter get killed off by some redskin. All right. We'll all go to Lake Otsego. My orders to evacuate this area have not been changed. Hawkeye, is this a concern of ours? It is only a few days more before the new moon, and we must find Watawa. Yes, brother. 
These woods are our concern. We've pledged to help all the people who live here, settlers and Indians alike. My brother is right. If the Hurons do decide to attack the settlers at the lake, we will be there. And so will Watawa. Give her the respect you give me. She is Delaware. They have no respect. I will not let anyone bother you. I am not your woman, and I will never be your woman. <laughs> ah, this land has been kind to my friend Rivenoak. The scalps we gather show our valor, my friend. We can carry little more with us. I want to go on to Lake Otsego. There are the warbands on the way to meet us there. Ottawa, Ojibwe. Some of my men would like to hunt. Our game bags are low while our scalp bags are full. There is better hunting at Lake Otsego. I heard a Yengalese lives there, a man of riches. He is of no concern to us, whoever he is. But his riches could be of use to us. Rivenoak, our friend Montcalm is waiting at Ticonderoga. He would take us south to Fort Edward and St. George and Fort Albany. There we will find riches enough for all. We? Oui? We? Oui. Listens well. I hope so. There are many tribes between us and Lake Otsego. You're on. Seneca, Erie, Ottawa. King's losing his friends in this valley. And the Frenchmen are gathering them in. All right, gentlemen, let's march. I say, sir, what do you think? Does it suit me? Tolerably. Tolerably well, Lieutenant. Well, we don't want to let that Indian get too far ahead of us, do we, Hawkeye? Harry, Harry. Yeah. I'll hear no more such talk. I trust Chingachgook above any man I know. Well, that's really nice, but I'm certainly glad that I know my own way back to Lake Otsego. What about this man, Hunter? He lives there. I don't know him. That's good. That's just the way he likes it. You're telling me he has something to hide? Yes, I am. Two lovely daughters. First, there's Judith. She's as lovely as the first bluebell to ever poke their heads out of the ground in the spring. And then there's Hetty. Hetty? What about Hetty? Well, I don't quite know how to say this, but... Well, she can run through this forest and hear sounds that we never even heard of. She can, she can follow a trail through the, through the wilderness that's never been cut. But when it comes time to just talk and make a little sense, She's different. I've seen Indians like that. Oh, I don't want to run into anybody like Hattie Hutter. He's too scarified. Getting the Hutter family out was only part of the problem. If Chingachgook and I didn't find the Hurons in free Watawa before the new moon, there'd be more bloodshed. Old Tom always keeps a couple of canoes hidden in different parts of the lake. It helps him when he sets his traps. Ugh. He's also got a couple more at the castle. Castle, Mr. March.
think the old man's here. I don't see his trapping skull anywhere. Harry! Every Indian within miles of this lake will hear that shot. So what was I supposed to do? Let him go free so that he could go warn the rest? I don't think he'll go very far now. There's no one outside. Mm, just like I said, old Tom's on his eye, probably pulling in his traps. We better find him if you know where he is. Just might at that. The Indian Harry killed had been a Huron, probably a scout for an advance party. I expected more to be on their way if they weren't there already. Carabin. The Yangalese, a trapper and the Delaware Chingachkuk. We must be on guard. I want to know everything they do. We? Oui? Bon. Now, you are heard. This Delaware has followed you here. Yes. My father will be revenged. <laughs> I will bring back the scalp of this Delaware's head. You will use it to sew me a pouch. to have lost your way, my dear. Come, I will take you back to camp with me. We still haven't found the Hutter family. Winding River offered a trapper many places to work and hide. I could only hope that wherever they were, they were still alive. Call out to your friend. Tell him to put down his musket. Tom Hunter, wait! Hold it! Tom, it's me, your old friend Harry. Harry March! You ought to know better than to try to come up on me like that. We had to, Mr. Hunter. We've come for you and your daughter. You'd be better off putting about a hundred yards of water between us and the Hurons, Tom. Hurons? Father, this isn't Huron country. Everybody! All together! Pull! 
utterly beautiful young woman. If I were you, Lieutenant, I'd keep my full attention on that pole. Have no fear, sir. You are talking to one of the foremost boatsmen who ever punted on the Thames. You're lucky you'll live to do it again. You didn't uh, tell me how much you missed me. Keep your hands on the pole, Harry. Well, you did miss me a little bit, didn't you, Miss Judith? Not particularly. <laughs> That's very funny, isn't it? Leave him alone, Harry. I always get this really strange feeling with an Indian so close to me. do what I wanted. I'm slow with him, I No, you. but you were marvelous. I failed you. Oh, no. Put <clears throat> a knife back in your boot, Harry. Ah, just leave me be. He belongs to me, and I found him first. even taken him? He's worth money to me. Well, I won't forget this. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to remember it. You'll be taking no more scalps. Now get back on the end of that pole. He thinks you robbed his pocket. He may want your scalp in return. But it ain't worth the bounty. <laughs> I want to thank you. But we're not looking for your thanks, Miss Judith. We know there are men and women, Indians and settlers, caught in the path of all this fighting. My brother and I are glad we can help. Well, I'm still grateful, no matter what you say. We've always tried to make friends with the Indians. I never thought the war would touch our lake. The war touches everything, Miss Judith. Everything. We'd managed to get the flatboat back to the cabin but the Huron threat was still with us. I'll have the fire lit in just a second. Then you must have dinner with us. Isn't it so, Father? I want no share of their trouble. Well, I'm afraid, sir, that you've already had a share. You, uh, you will have a lot more if you stay on this lake. If I stay, I don't mean to hoist sail. My orders, sir, are to evacuate this entire area of civilians. I'm afraid, sir, that means you. Do we have to leave, Papa? Hetty, come with me. Help me prepare supper. I don't want to leave the woods, Judith. If I did, I couldn't live. Hetty, we will all be here tonight. And we will all live. And I'll be looking out for you, too, Judith. So you've got nothing to worry about. That'll make your dreams a little better, huh? Hardly. Spunk. <laughs> the girls got spunk, Tom. Oh, I do love that spunk, Tom. I really do. They won't be shipping me out of here, Harry. Won't sit still for it. 
Well, it's either that or the Hurons, Tom. Well put. Sir, may I suggest that you gather together whatever personal property you may wish to carry with you? I want to go south as soon as I can. The Delaware saw 10, 20 Huron and their villas during the raid. Even more on the trail. And more at Fort Niagara. Yes, there will be many Huron warriors on the shores tonight. General Montcalm holds the French fort at Ticonderoga. These men must be his reinforcements. Lieutenant, if I were you, I wouldn't waste any time getting back to Fort Albany. Of course, sir, but what about you? My brother and I have got some serious business tonight. My uncle's daughter is still with the Huron. And the Huron are on those shores. We're going into the Huron camp sometime before dawn. I tell you, those people on the lake are nothing to us. Huron warriors lie dead because of them. Huron warriors lie dead because you have an obsession with these trappers. You will not leave them alone. I am not going to risk another man on them. Thunder. Great treasure. There are men waiting for us at Fort Ticonderoga. They are British at Crown Point who must be driven out. You want treasure? You want plunder? you find it all at Crown Point. I have not done badly so far, my friend. Do you think I want to hurt you? I honor you. Then prove it. Send me back to my father. You have no father. You have no family. You have no friends. Just me and my people. Never. Before we reach the shores of the Great Lakes of the Hurons, you must ask for adoption by my people. On again? I never hear Hetty when she gets up. She walks on the wind and blows away when you turn your back. Well, that's the wonderful thing about the Lord. He always seems to take care of those of us who don't have a mind to take care of ourselves. Well, I'm not so sure just how much influence the good Lord has on the Hurons. Well, you don't have to worry about Hetty, you know. <laughs> she sure knows the forest. But uh, I think it's about time you start worrying about yourself, Miss Judith. You know, we get to Albany, you're going to need somebody to look after you. Hmm? Well, that's something I'll just have to worry about in Albany. You do know my feelings for you, don't you, Judith? Well, that's just something else I have to worry about in Albany, Harry. I want to know your mind. Now. Do you really? 
Maybe it's about time you know about your father's mind. <laughs> Many parties, not just Huron, Ottawa's, men from the long snow-filled plain. There will be many men in their camp tonight. I'd rather have it that way, brother. They're less apt to notice us. I could put on my paint, put another feather through my hair, go in by myself as a Huron. Did I come this far to tell my brother goodbye? Did I come this far to see my brother killed? We came for Tominan to find his daughter and take her back. We'll do it together. Our feet are bare on this kind of ground. I, don't, I just don't think I can find her. Oh, dear. Promise to be good. I'll tell you where I saw some brand new honey. Yes, you would like that, wouldn't you? But why should I tell you when you frighten my friends? Oh, now, don't be upset. I was going to tell you, honest. There's an old dead birch tree down by the spring where the beavers play. You'll find lots of honey in the stump. Now you must go. Be angry with her, Lieutenant. She didn't mean any harm. That bear did not hurt you. Why would she want to hurt me? I'm her friend. <laughs> so I see. My dear Hetty, I have raced through these woods to protect you. You don't have to worry about protecting me. This is my home. All my friends are here. They take care of me. Yes. You're a very special person. I'm sure someone, something does protect you. Well, I guess I feel closer to the animals I know than to people. All people? Dear Hetty, even me? Oh, no. No, I, I like you very much. Did I offend you? Please, uh, please let me apologize, as we do in London, with some flowers. No, don't. Please. Oh. <laughs> First the bear, now the birds. I can't even be brave for you. That really frightened me. Hush. Flowers. 
for a wreath. <laughs> a wreath. Or maybe a crown. <laughs> <laughs> Stand fast! Quiet, put that away. No, Hawkeye, Hetty pushed me over and just raced off through the woods. She heard Huron on the trail. She, she, she was trying to save me. The, the Indians heard the noise that I was and making. You don't keep quiet. She will have done it in vain. Now, the, the moccasin that's smooth, you, you said was Huron. But I don't know what this is here. It's the woman's footprint. You mean Hetty's? They've captured her and it's my fault. Lieutenant, you'll spoil the sign. I don't understand. Come. We have a chance to take her now. Too many hiding parties. The woods are alive with them. We can't leave Hetty in their hands. She will be safe. Indians do not harm one like Hetty. They believe that a girl with a mind like Hetty's is blessed by the Great Spirit. You're taking chances with her life. Not as great as if we tried to rescue her now. We'll come back tonight. It is an unnecessary risk. We cannot let her go. She can do us no harm. The Great Spirit has her under his protection. Ah, she knows where our camp is, how many men we have, musket, everything. You are king of the forest. Please. I've brought you your crown. You are most kind, mademoiselle. I can, I can show you your new domain. I've lived here all my life. Perhaps some other time. Mm. She can remember things. How many men, how many muskets? No, my friend. She is free to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The little sister has run far. She must be thirsty. Little sister came from the house in the lake. There are many people now at that house. You are not of these other people. No. I am Delaware. You could be the one they call Watawa. Who sent you here? They think that I am weak-minded. But there are things I can keep in my head. Like an Indian chief? A man named Chingachgook? You speak my uncle's name. He and his friend are searching for you. And you found me? You don't know whether you can trust me. You're afraid I might tell the wrong people. The Great Spirit has given you vision far greater than the rest of us. My father has always said that a Great Spirit gives us only of himself, Watawa. And he will give me the strength to bring back whatever message you might have for Hawkeye or your uncle. Oh, you must tell them to come for me in the early part of the day. I'll be waiting by the horse pens. It's near the trees. I ask too much of you. I shall tell them. I shan't forget. Asking a man to desert his home? Better part of his life? I am not asking you to do anything, sir. I'm commanding you in the name of your king. In the name of my king? That won't buy you nothing in this part of the wilderness. Where's he going? Hmm? There's somebody in the water. It's Hetty. Water's just this side of ice. I like the way it feels. You like it better in your own bed, on your own down quilt. Oh, I mustn't forget. Watawa will be waiting at the Huron camp, where the horses are tethered at dawn. Come on. I don't think we can wait much longer. We've lost one day already. Lieutenant, we'll be back a couple of hours after sunrise. And we'll be ready to go.
There they go. Off to the heathen's camp, just as happy as you please. <laughs> Another five days, maybe a week at the most, they'll all be back in Albany. I know all about Albany. Yes, and maybe Albany knows a little bit about you, too. I can look after myself. It's the girls have got me fretting. Well, you don't have to worry none about them. I told you I'd take good care of Judith. And I gave you my word. Ha! Huh. Here. Word. I kept your secret. I kept your secret, Tom. Nobody's known nothing about your pirating days for ten years. I kept your secret. What? Don't you ever use the word pirating again. All I need. See those two little ladies safe is a little silver, Tom. Just a little silver. You'll get none from me. No, but I'll get plenty from Sir William Johnson and those other fine gentlemen in Albany. Scalps, Tom. I'm talking about scalps. Here on scalps, they're offering ten shillings. I already got me six pounds. You're gonna go scalping your way through those Indian camps? I don't have to. The Hurons done it for me. I've seen it at the fort. They got a couple of sacks full of scalps. And the French governor's paying just as good as Sir William. You figure those scalps are... Uh... Hundreds of them. I can make myself a fortune and take good care of Judith and Hattie, too. Hetty needs looking to. She won't last a week away from this lake. I tell you, Tom, there's a fortune lying there on the ground. Now, Hawkeye and that Indian, they're planning to get that girl. Now, while they're doing that, we can sneak in and help ourselves to the scalps. Now, you help me do that, Tom, and your secret will be safe. And so will your daughters. Enough. If you do 
you'll have that weapon in your hands in the next two seconds. They are your last. Why didn't you leave for Albany when you had your chance? You're a smart man, de Bourgeois. You know the British would never allow the likes of me in on their plans. A man hears things. A young officer will talk. Old Tom's telling you the truth. We don't know nothing. For your sake, I wish you did. If you have nothing for me, you might amuse them. Every life deserves some purpose. <laughs> Please, Mr. Tabergé, you're a reasonable man. I can see that. Don't you think it might be possible you could find some way in your heart to, to let us loose, old Tom and me? Ah, uh, stop your spineless sniveling. If you're gonna die, Harry, do it like a man. Why not go on living? I think maybe we got something for you after all. Scalps, Monsieur Marsh. At ten shillings apiece. Gold. Silver. Jewels, fine jewels. Mm. Ain't that right, Tom? Be like that. What are you saving it for, anyway? Make him tell you, Mr. Debouget. Make him tell you where the treasure is hidden. You know, if you spare our lives, we'll make a deal with you. Perhaps I should know more about this treasure of yours. You can't let father die. Miss Judith, what were your father and Harry March doing there? It was senseless. They should have stayed out of it. If they had, we'd have Watawa with us now and we'd be headed south. It's that Harry March. He made Father Petty. do it. That's enough. She may be right, Judith. That's the kind of thing Harry March would think up. I get the impression your friend March has some sort of hold on your father. My father is a good man. He's done nothing wrong. Now, what are we going to do about saving him? Hawkeye. Okay. So, Huron. What the devil does he want? It's a fire ship. Loaded with gunpowder. Don't shoot now. It's too close. Blow us all up. Brother, you and the lieutenant, watch for gunfire from the shore. We'll need every loaded musket you can find. We have plenty of power. want to pursue this mythical treasure? It is a waste of our time. Then you leave. 
I will have the treasure. Natoma, stand guard. We will get canoes and more men. Let's get everything loaded under the ark. We must leave nothing the Hurons can use. I won't go. I, I won't leave the woods and I won't leave father. I won't let the Hurons have him, Hetty. I just want to make it look like we're running away. It's a game? That's right, Hetty. We just want to fool the Hurons. That looks like everything. <gasps> There's Father Strongbox. Hetty. Strongbox. What's in it? We don't know. He always keeps it locked. Come on, I'll show you. I don't think we should do this. It's a veritable arsenal. Grenades. Someone's been making grenades. They used to carry bombs like this on naval vessels. Papa used to work on them late at night when he thought we were asleep. for him to know. Miss Judith, if I am not mistaken, this is indeed pirate loot. The gold, the armaments. My father was no pirate. He was good to us. Well, I shall certainly want these grenades. I am not anxious for them to fall into the hands of the French or the Hurons. Take them, Lieutenant. Let's get moving. All the gold in the world won't get us to Albany. There will be treasure. Ah. They're leaving now, Harry. They're going back after the treasure. I did the right thing, Tom. Sure you did. But we're alive, ain't we? For how long? See what we have here. Treasure, it is here. It is here, my friend. It is here. <laughs> Collect your prize, Rivenoak. 
We must start back to camp. My friend is not pleased with this night's work. I'm pleased you have found your treasure, Riven Oak. So we may again be about our business. Now, we have been here long enough. We. Oui? My brother. Get moving. Go back for
Is everyone all right? Let's get this thing moving, Lieutenant. I don't know how far those Redskins are behind me. Where is Hoka? Yeah. Is he hurt? Chingachgook! You will return Wataba to the lodge of her father, Tamanut. I must go back for Hawkeye. They have Hawkeye? How did this happen? I have asked Harry the same question. So what was I going to do? There was 10, maybe 12 Indians there. I'm lucky to get away with my life. Come on, let's get this thing moving. Uncle, I will not go back without you. There is nothing you can do. Well, there is something that I can do. You go ahead. I'm sure that Mr. March will not waste any time on the road to Albany. Well, that's well said. Mm -hmm. Throw out the line. Throw it out. Do as he tells you, Judith. We'll find a new life in Albany. With your pirate gold? Who said anything about pirate gold? They were never to know. It wasn't Harry. We broke into the strong room. What about the treasure? You brought it with you? What does it matter? Father, you can't leave Hawkeye behind. He came back to help you. I can do nothing. I've already been held captive by the Hurons. I'm Mother. safe now. I took the opportunity of uh, requisitioning your grenades. I don't think that you will need them in Albany. I'll take them and be gone. Wait. I'm going with you. You will not. Tell her, Tom. I'm going to. For the love of heaven, they'll kill you. I would not want to live if we turned our backs on Hawkeye. I'm safe here in my forest. All right, you got nothing to say about this anymore. Now let's get this thing moved. Stay back there, Redskin. Let me go. Tom, hoist the sail. Let's get out of here. Turn her loose, Harry. Are you still playing daddy? She don't mean nothing to you. Neither one of them does. Shut up, Harry. Well, there's a bunch of captives left over from your pirating days. You stinking liar. You said you'd never tell him. My girls of my whole life. You destroyed it, Harry. Knowing, I wanted to protect you, even though you didn't belong to me. I can't stand that look in your eyes. You see, I took you when you were just babies. I loved you. You were mine. I must go now. Yes, of course, and I shall go with you. to show you how to use those grenades. You don't have to do this, River Oak. We can take him with us to Fort Ticonderoga. The British would exchange him for one of our own officers. The British have no one I want as much as I want Le Long Carabin. It is another delay. Hear me, De Bourgeois. I would not move until this man is dead. But if you wish, my friend, you may attack the fort alone. Hurons! And John. I'm sorry, monsieur. This is not my idea. I thought it was your influence, de Bourgeois. I tried to stop him. On my honor as a Frenchman. Is this the French chivalry you bring to our forest to allow the Hurons to plunder and kill? I have my orders. I ordered none of this. But you began it. And neither one of us knows where it ends. White eyes! If you wish to end this, let me hear you beg. I wouldn't know how, Reverend Oak. You show me. Bye, guys. 
right. Do you feel the breezes? Is it cool enough for you? That's the fifth volley. The torture has started. Hattie, no. No, wait. We must stay together. Hattie will be all right. We know they will not hurt her. We must help my brother. Give me the word. Please, let me end this torment for you. You'd best stand aside, de Beaujeu. They may forget you're supposed to be their friend. White Eyes, he will pay for your blood. You will. Beg for your life. Beg for an end to this, and it will all be over. You've been wanting this for a long time, Rivenoak. Have your fun. No noise. We're close to the Huron camp. He's still alive, isn't he, Chingachgook? He must be. We'll create a diversion while Chingachgook gets Hawkeye. Now, wait a minute. No, doggy, let's move. Your time has come. Treating a good man like this. You're all bad. <sighs> Mr. Hawkeye, did they hurt you? Do you want something? You mustn't play these games, Mr. Hawkeye. They're very dangerous. Mademoiselle, I must ask you to stand aside. I'm concerned that you are in extreme danger. I don't want you to hurt Mr. Hawkeye. My dear, it is beyond the wish of either of us. Perhaps we could walk together. You can show me the wildflowers in the forest. Places they grow. Can Mr. Hawkeye come too? 
I'm afraid, ma chérie, Monsieur Oka is otherwise engaged. I don't. Save yourself, monsieur, if you can. My brother, we must go. Eddie! She's dead. There's nothing we can do. We must go. No! I can't leave her here. Stay here. She was such a a gentle creature. She she couldn't harm anyone or anything. She should not have died. It is not right. Hetty found her own peace. She's in the woods that she loves so much. She'll never have to leave now. She's at home. Don't you see? Hawkeye, uh, will you come to Albany with us? 
No, Chingachgook and I must return Watawa to her people. And after? We'll remain here in the forest. But there's, there's so much more to the world than the forest. Maybe for you, Miss Judith, but not for me. It could be for you. We both know better. There are other people caught up in the middle of this war. Your father and Hetty are dead, but there's nothing any of us can do about that. There are others who can be saved. My brother and I can help. OK. I'm indebted to you both. You taught me so much. Lieutenant, if it weren't for you, I'd be dead right now. You learned well. In fact, you were absolutely magnificent. Thank you. I grew to like that young man, Hawkeye. He learned quickly. And towards the end of battle, he... He almost reminded me of... Oh, no. I know, my brother. I had memories as well. Come. We must go. Mm -hmm. 